the site extension is a powerful browser plugin with support for Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and Microsoft Edge that allows you to take the power of site with you wherever you're reading online. Once it's installed in your browser, you'll begin to see a badge when you're reading a paper that shows how it was cited by other publications. Specifically, you can see the number of papers that cited it and the number of supporting, mentioning, and contrasting statements it has received. But it doesn't just stop at individual papers you're reading. Suppose you're on Google Scholar looking at search results. With our extension, you can see the site-specific information about how each result in your search was cited. And of course, you can click through on the badge to load the corresponding site report and read the relevant citation contexts from each citing paper. Recently, we added new functionality to the extension that helps you verify claims that you read anywhere on the internet, from a news article to a tweet. Let's say we're looking at a tweet by Dr. Eric Topol about COVID-19. Here, Dr. Topol claims that there isn't a significant difference in the viral load between vaccinated and unvaccinated groups infected by the COVID-19 Delta variant. If we wanted to check that claim, we could use the site browser extension to highlight the words no significant difference in viral load between vaccinated and unvaccinated, right-click and select search site.ai citation statements, which then pulls up a screen showing us all citation statements matching these terms. In this case, if we scroll down, we actually see a citation statement indicating that there is indeed a difference between vaccinated and unvaccinated groups. In a matter of minutes, we found a paper that might make different claims than what we originally read in the tweet. By clicking through to read about that paper, we also see that its findings have been supported by another publication. In just a few minutes, we were able to go from a claim made by someone with credibility and see that there's newer literature that offers evidence against their claims.